So, you want to know how to find people using limited information or know if it's even possible. Well it is, but the question is, why do you really want to know? OSINT tools are very powerful and if you leverage them in the right way, they can get you any piece of information you desire. In this video, we'll look at three tools that will help you pull the information with just a few words or pictures. So let's start looking at some creepy tools. It's be about time. First up, in this video, we have ID Crawl. This is a great tool that is a free people search engine that basically aggregates information from social networks, deep web sources, phone directories, email databases and criminal records, so loads of them. And it stands out from web search engines like Google because of its specialised focus on people related information. So by focusing solely on people search, it can deliver more relevant results for queries that you enter. You can see there's different types of searches that we can do here. We can have a username search, reverse phone, or just simply do a people search, which is what we'll be doing in this video. So just to start, we'll be using my name, which is iMentor, and we'll be giving that a search just to see what exact information populates. And straight away, you can see that some images have been included. We can scroll through those, or we can look at what's been found on Instagram. So you can see straight away, that's my account and I've been found, and you can go directly to that or we can look for any Twitter accounts. I'm not on Twitter, so it's correctly not found me. We can do background checks and view those reports. So we can have a look through public records, email addresses that potentially might be for this user, any Facebook accounts again, and then also TikTok accounts, which I am on TikTok and it's found my account straight away. We can also look at YouTube channels. Of course, it's obviously found my YouTube channel any other potential usernames for this user, LinkedIn, any relatives or address history and different websites which may mention iMentor. So loads of really useful information that you can go through if you're searching for specific people. You can see it found information on me which is iMentor straight away. And just as, as an example, we'll search one of these images which ID crawl include so you can look at as an example just to see what information it pulls back. And we can see searching for this user, they've found one person in Georgia and it's found some Instagram information alongside some Twitter information. And you can also run background checks just the same as we did with iMentor when we searched that. So really useful if you're find, trying to find a specific person or use a specific username to find that person on different social media platforms. Really good for recon if you're doing something like penetration testing. Next up, we then have Pim Eyes. Now, Pim Eyes is an online face search engine that goes through the internet to find pictures containing given faces. It basically uses facial recognition search technologies to perform a reverse image search. The benefit of this tool is that it allows you to set an alert and monitor by receiving an email notification when Pim Eyes basically finds a new result containing a face that you're looking for. Or you can even use it to erase unwanted photos from external websites that you've seen the image on. So if you're trying to hide something for some unknown reason, then this is the place to do it. And just as an example, we'll now do an image search just to see exactly what comes up. And what I've done is saved a photo here by Will Smith, the actor, and I'll be pasting that in just to see exactly what it pulls back. And we can add more photos or we can choose a specific time which we want it to look back in, whether that's 24 hours, a week or 30 days. And we can do a safe search or a deep search. And once you hit that search button, it will only take a few seconds to go through and then we'll be given the results. And here you can now see that we've given 247 results in three seconds. So very, very fast. And we can scroll through all the external websites which host this image. And there is loads on there for you to go through. It's not just one or two results. And you can easily filter those to then order it by default or by date and group them. And this is where you can go about setting an alert or exporting that data. And if we just for it as an example, click into one of these, you can see we can choose between opening the website, opening the specific image, performing a search with the image again, or copying the result ID, or then go in to exclude it from public results for PIM eyes. So really, really useful depending on your use case. So I highly recommend you checking this one out as well. Next up, we then have a reverse image search by Tin Eye. This tool claims to have built some of the world's fastest and most accurate image recognition APIs. And it essentially 
constantly crawls the web and adds images to its index. And on their website, they say it indexes over 65.1 billion images, which is just insane to think about. And it's very easy to use. You just simply upload a picture, just like the previous tool that we looked at, and then see your results. So that's exactly what we'll do. We've pasted an image again of Will Smith, the actor, just to see exactly what results come up. And after a few seconds, you can see it populates straight away. And we've had 707 results over those 65.1 billion images. And we can then go in to filter our results, or we can just go ahead and start looking at what's already been provided. You can go down and just like before, click into these to view exactly what information is given behind this image or similar images. And we can see it's been very accurate and it's found other images of Will Smith. It's not a different individual. It's exactly that person, but in different images. And when you scroll back up, you can see that you can sort by or filter the website or collections. All you need to do is hover over those boxes and click them. And you have some really useful filtering options there. I'll just show you now by going over to it. Once we click into it, you get the best match, most changed, biggest image, newest or oldest, exactly what you'd expect, or by looking at what websites have come up and we can just specifically look at those. So really, really useful if you need to look at something more specific. Hopefully that's been useful for you guys. And if it has, do join my Discord community where I post all sorts of different useful OSINT tools and we discuss cybersecurity in general. The link will be in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed it, please do leave a like on the video. It massively helps it out and tells me that I need to create more videos just like this one because it's exactly what you're interested in.